Alright, now let us learn about decay law. Okay, uh, first of all, we have learned about radioactive decay. So, uh, let us review again. What is actually decay? Uh, decay, we have three kind of process, isn't it? Decay is uh, actually from unstable nucleus become more stable nucleus. So, what we can see over here, decay not exactly means the nucleus just disappear. It actually just changes to another form. Uh, from unstable nucleus become a more stable nucleus. Uh, yeah, it changes form. Maybe from element X changes to element Y. Uh, from unstable become stable. Or high energy, high energy state from high energy state drop to a lower energy state. Uh, so the the uh, radiative decay doesn't mean uh, the nucleus will disappear. Okay, it just changes form. Okay, so like you have alpha decay. Uh, this is the unstable nucleus, yeah, X. Uh, after it decay, emit the helium, it becomes stable. Uh, this one, this, um, I can say, uh, this, this is uh, unstable. Last time unstable, now become stable. Uh, the X is unstable, now become stable. Yeah, it doesn't, this, uh, when it decay, it will emit this alpha particle, but uh, these uh, unstable nucleus won't disappear. Yeah, it, it, it will change to another form of nucleus. It won't just disappear like that. Okay, uh, beta decay also the same. You see, it changes from carbon to nitrogen, or maybe carbon to boron. Uh, it changes to another form. Only the gamma decay uh, from excited is still maintain the same element. Uh, from excited state drop to lower excited state, low lower energy state. Uh, so you see. Uh, what I can say, the conclusion here is, for decay, uh, the molecule, the, the nucleus, uh, don't, uh, don't disappear. Okay? It don't disappear. Okay? It just changes, it just changes element. It just changes element, or maybe drop energy state. Ah, so maybe it changes element from X to Y or maybe from a uh, higher energy state uh, drop to lower energy state. But uh, uh, for this one, normally uh, for decay, um, decay is actually uh, unstable. Okay, uh, what I can say from here, okay, uh, this part is unstable, become stable. Uh, unstable becomes stable and then uh, it must emit emit a uh, decay uh, particle uh, some for for the one changes element it either emit alpha particle uh, which is the helium particle or emit the beta particle which is either electron or positron okay and then for this one it emit uh, gamma ray uh, yeah it emit gamma ray uh, gamma radiation at the photon. Uh, this is actually a photon. Ah, okay. So for decay, the nucleus don't disappear. Yeah, don't disappear. It just change to another type of nucleus. Okay, or maintain the same nucleus but drop energy state. So maybe here there are some simulation I want to show you. Um, yeah, this is the uh, maybe about this one. Okay, as you can see, what happened during decay. Um, this one is talking about half-life. Yeah, now I will just make a uh, decay. Let you show the decay. So let us play. Just play. Ah, you see, initially it is red color. Red color means unstable. Red color means unstable. Now after it decay, it becomes blue color. Blue color means stable. Uh, and it is random, spontaneous. Random uh, means any particle we cannot predict which one will decay. It will just decay. Yeah. Uh, you see that. Uh, so. What you can see over here is after it decay, it just from red nucleus, red color become blue color. Uh, it means from unstable become stable. It doesn't, the particle doesn't disappear. Yeah? It's, it's still, the number of particles still the same. The total particle still the same. Uh, it's just that maybe this particle from, uh, from particle uh, X has become particle Y. Okay? Uh, 
it just the unstable nucleus become less and less, stable nucleus become more and more. Ah, what I say like that, huh? like this one, you see. Ah, this is another example. This now all, all of these are unstable. A lot of unstable. Yeah, as time goes by. Ah, you see that? Uh, now unstable nucleus uh, has become less. Uh, the one with a faded color one is a stable nucleus has become more. And as time goes by, unstable nucleus become even less and stable nucleus become even more. Uh, and then and the process go on and on and you can see less and less uh, re uh, unstable nucleus and then more and more stable nucleus form. You see that? Uh, and that's it. Okay. Uh, I see. Now, unstable nucleus is still left with four. The rest is all already stable nucleus. Uh, yeah? uh, they, during the decay, they either emit alpha particle or beta particle or gamma particle. Or gamma ray. Uh, sorry. Yeah? Uh, so, this is what I want to explain. Yeah? The nucleus don't just disappear. It just changes to another form. Okay? Or changes energy state. Okay. That is the radiative decay. So, uh, rate of decay... Yeah, decay law means uh, uh, have I talked about this uh, to you? Okay, uh, decay law means the rate of decay d n o d t is equal to negative lambda n. Okay, what is d n d t? D n d t is actually the rate of decay. Rate of decay, I mean the speed of decay lah. Like what I can say speed of decay, or you can say number of decays in one second. Uh, that means how many particle decay. In one second uh, okay and lambda is called the decay constant uh, this one depends on material okay for lambda it depends on material different material has different lambda okay different material has different lambda um, and then n is the number of radioactive uh, nuclei present uh, radioactive means um, the unstable uh, un, uh, the unstable nucleus present uh, unstable nucleus present okay so decay law actually what it's trying to explain is it's saying the rate of decay the number of decay per second is proportional to the sample of uh, unstable nucleus that means if you have uh, more unstable nucleus if you have more sample of unstable nucleus the rate of decay, the number of decay per second will be even more. Ah, that means the rate of decay is even faster. The rate of decay is even faster if you have more uh, radioactive um, particle present. Okay, uh, like you see here, uh, like you see here, uh, this is the example I show you, yeah? Uh, like you can see over here, yeah? Okay, you see. At first, you have many, many uh, unstable nucleus, isn't it? Oh, so many unstable nucleus. Look at the rate of decay. Look at the curve. Look at the curve. Uh, is it the curve uh, very steep in the beginning or in the end? Okay, look at the curve. And how fast it changes, you see. Uh, this is initial, you see. The rate of decay, a lot. But in the end, when the... Uh, just pause a little while. A little while. Now, in the end the sample has become less and less you see uh, become less particle already uh, less particle this red color one is the unstable nucleus now the unstable nucleus has become less has become less so it takes a longer time to decay yeah you see uh, the rate of decay become less uh, you see becomes slower already do you see that ah at far at first uh, it is very fast it is very fast because the sample is a lot uh, and then the curve is very steep. Uh, the curve is very steep. So uh, at first, when the sample is when the uh, a lot of uh, uh, the end is high, uh, the number of radioactive the unstable nucleus present is high. That means a lot of uh, a lot of red red color, a lot of red unstable nucleus. The rate of decay is very fast. You see, very fast. Uh, very fast. So the rate of decay also very high, but in the end, let's look at in the end. Uh, in the end, when the uh, rate of the red color become less and less, ah, uh, you see, 
Uh, you see, when you see there's only a few red color left. Uh, so what happened is, uh, what happened is when the sample has become uh, less red color, less unstable nucleus, the rate of decay also becomes slower. Uh, the curve become less steep. Yeah, uh, uh, become less. Let the curve, the curve become less steep. Uh, that means the rate of decay become lesser. You see that? Uh, uh, you see, very slow. Eh? The, the, curve, the, the graph becomes very slow. Eh? Let us look at. Now, initially very fast because sample a lot. Now, sample has become less and less. The rate has become slower. You see that? The rate becomes slower already. It uh, takes a longer time. Okay. Uh, maybe make a short half line. Uh, very fast. But when the sample has become less so few, see, uh, it takes a very long time to decay already. Ah, uh, you see? Uh, this one when it will eat decay don't know when yeah uh, so make, make a medium one yeah a lot of sample very fast a lot of sample very fast but in the end less sample less sample takes a very long time to decay you see that uh, takes a very long time to decay now have become mostly become stable already uh, all right so that is uh, what happened yeah okay so uh, what I can say is, uh, when the when the when the uh, sample a lot, a lot of red color, the rate of decay very fast, the curve very steep. Uh, the rate of decay very fast. But when the sample has become mostly blue, uh, less re less uh, radioactive particle present, less unstable nucleus present, the rate of decay also become less. Uh, become uh, very less steep. Uh, the curve become less steep. Uh, become almost horizontal. Okay. Uh, so uh, the rate of decay is proportional to the sample. Okay. Um, and then the negative here means the number of uh, radioactive uh, nuclei present decreases with time. That means uh, radioactive means the unstable one. Uh, as you can see just now, uh, the this is the red color. Uh, as uh, as the as time goes by, as time goes by, the this unstable nuclei nuclei become lesser and lesser, isn't it? Become the red color become less and less, and then blue become more and more. The stable become more and more, unstable become less and less. You see, uh, decreases with time. That's why it got negative sign. That's why it got negative sign. Ah, uh, uh, you see, ah, uh, you see, ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, so. Unstable nuclei. What I can say is the unstable nuclei, the the red one, the sorry, unstable nuclei become less and become less and uh, become uh, less and less and less, and then uh, okay, and then where uh, whereas the stable nucleus, the stable nucleus become more and more. Uh, stable nucleus become more and more as time goes by. Uh, that's why I got the negative sign here. Uh, also, we can find out the DNDT here. Yeah, that's why I got negative sign uh, from the value itself. Yeah, let's look at the DNODT. DNODT is actually the we take the final, final um, ray, uh, unstable nucleus minus the initial, uh, minus the initial over time taken. Okay, let's say if final you have um, uh, left with uh, only fifty. Uh, uh, sorry, you left with uh, 50 unstable. Initially, let's say you have 100 nucleus is unstable. Okay, uh, as time goes by, uh, initially you have uh, 100 unstable nucleus, but uh, after some time you left with only 50 unstable nucleus. Okay, over uh, time taken. Uh, that's why here you see 50 minus 100, you get negative value, isn't it? Ah, this one, that's why you get negative value. Ah, so it's like a small minus big become a negative. Ah, that's why I got negative sign. Yeah, this, uh, this negative sign means uh, the unstable nucleus has become, uh, the, the unstable nucleus uh, initially is uh, a lot. Uh, after some time, final, the final amount of unstable nucleus has become less. So less minus a lot, of course you get negative sign. Less minus a lot, you get negative sign. So the that's why the rate of decay is a negative value. Okay, so the, the equation here you have negative sign. Uh, okay. Good.
Now, uh, let's, uh, let us look at uh, what is A. A is called the activity. Uh, A is called the activity. The activity here is the rate of decay. Lah. Uh, so, the activity is actually the same as rate of decay or decay rate is the same. Yeah? It's also the number of decays per second. So, activity means the same thing as DMDT or rate of decay. Yeah? We can say A is also the rate of decay. Uh, okay. Now, um, now, look at this unit. Unit for this activity or decay rate. Uh, yeah? What's the unit? Uh, what's the unit? Um, the unit is you have three unit, three kinds of unit, three kinds of unit. Uh, the actually the SI unit is per second. Ah, uh, the SI unit is per second. Um, uh, it can also write as one becquerel or one curie. Ah, uh, becquerel is actually the same as per second. Becquerel means uh, one decay per second. Uh, decay rate. Uh, that means, uh, in that means, uh, what is mean by one decarol of activity? What does it mean? Okay, let me uh, let me explain. Uh, what is means by uh, decay rate or activity of one decarol? What does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, in one second, in one second, there is one decay happening. Uh, one decay in one second. Once after one second, there is one nuclei. Uh, decay from x to y. Ah, there in one second, uh, there is one nuclei decay from x to y. Ah, okay, and emit one alpha like that. Okay, so activity of one becker means there's one nuclei decay per second. If let's say the decay activity is ten becker, what does it mean by ten becker? Ten becker means you have a ten decay. 10 nuclei decay in one second. That means in one second time, there are 10 nuclei uh, together decay. 10 nuclei de together de decay. Uh, okay? Uh, so, you can write this uh, as uh, one becquerel as you can write as uh, one per second. One per second means uh, one decay per second. 10 becquerel means uh, 10 decay per second. Uh, you have 10 nuclei, 10 unstable nuclei become stable. 10 nuclei, uh, 10 unstable nuclei become 10 stable nuclei in one second. Okay, uh, that is becquerel. Okay, so becquerel is actually the same as per second, uh, or becquerel is the same as decay per second. Uh, okay, so and then Curie. Uh, since we have uh, a lot of sample, so that's why we use a bigger unit we call Curie. Uh, Curie, you know, Mary Curie is a scientist, yeah, who died because of radiation. Okay, so Curie, uh, Curie is actually a bigger unit to uh, uh, how to say to um, to represent more more sample, uh, more sample of radioactive uh, nuclei. Uh, let's say you have a lot of sample decay in one second. Uh, you use Curie. Okay, so what is it? What is it actually means by one Curie? One Curie is three point seven exponent ten nuclei decay in just one second. Uh, or uh, 3.7 exponent 10 becquerel uh, 3.7 exponent 10 per second becquerel is the same as per second you know how much nuclei is this let me write out the zero uh, 10 zero uh. so 3 okay 1 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 ah there are 10 nuclei decay there are 10 nuclei decay happening in in one second time that means in one second, and in one second, there are this much of, there are this much of, um, oh, come on. There are this much of uh, uh, nuclei, and this much of unstable nuclei becoming stable. Uh, to de uh, decay become stable. Uh, okay, decay become stable. That means this they are, they are this much of uh, unstable nuclei decay become stable and they also emit they also emit uh, how to say because we know that uh, one decay uh, one decay emit one alpha uh, or the helium particle isn't it uh, one one decay emit one alpha that means you have this much of decay happening in one second that means in one second you emit 
you emit how many alpha? You emit this amount of alpha. Uh, that means uh, during decay, it also uh, emit it also emit three seven zero zero zero. How many zero is there? Nine zero. Uh, nine zero. Is that nine zero already? Uh, okay, one more. Ah, uh, alpha. It emit this amount of alpha. Wow. Okay, this amount of nuclear decay. In one second, at the same time, it it emit, uh, because we know one decay emit one alpha. That means if you have a three point seven, I don't know how many million is this, um, uh, three uh this uh amount of decay happening in one second. So this amount of alpha will be emitted, uh, alpha emitted per one second. Ah, understand? Ah, this amount of alpha emitted per one second. Okay, ah, that is Curie. It's a very big unit. Yeah, it's a very big unit. So, ah, uh, look at the question. The question asks you to give the unit in becquerel or per second or Curie. Yeah. Uh, so you just use this. Ah, uh, this value. Yeah. This will be given in the questions. Yeah. This. Ah. Uh, uh, how to change the unit will be given in the question. Don't worry, no, no need to memorize. Okay. So, um, all right. Uh, and then what is the decay constant? Decay constant, as I said, is depend on the material. Differ by the material. Last time you learn about last time you learn about uh, thermal conductivity, isn't it? Thermal conductivity is uh, dQ over dt equal to negative k a dt over dx if you still remember yeah so even the thermal conduction uh, even the thermal this is the thermal uh, conduct thermal conduction isn't it uh, even the thermal conduction also we have the k k is the thermal conductivity isn't it thermal conductivity uh, that depends on depends on material uh, differ by material Depends on material, right? Depends on material. So, radioactivity also have a constant that depend on material. You understand? It's the same as same concept like the thermal conductivity. Uh, certain material conduct uh, temp, uh conduct the heat faster than other material. Like like the metal conduct heat faster than the glass. Okay, the the metal has a higher thermal conductivity compared to the glass. Uh, so it has a higher thermal conductivity. Yeah, depend on material. Uh, so radioactivity also, uh, this uh, decay law also has a constant. We call it decay constant. Decay constant that also depend on material. Uh, some some material decay faster. Some material decay faster has a shorter half life. Uh, some uh, material decays take a longer time to decay. Take a longer time to decay. Uh, that has a uh, um, uh, no no no. I mean, some uh, some you know this decay constant actually depend on decay 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 constant depend on the half life. Okay, uh, some uh, some um, some decay constant uh, uh, some some material has a very 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 uh, uh, decay very fast. Some material decay very fast because of very short half life. Very short half life. Uh, and then um, very high decay constant, and but some uh, material decay very slow. Take a very long time to decay. Take a very long time to decay. Has a very long half life. Very long half life, and then the decay the decay constant is very small. Uh, uh, very uh, small uh, half life. So small uh, decay constant. So decay constant is the characteristics of the radioactive nuclide. So it differs by material. Okay, it has different values for different nuclei. Uh, different nuclei means different material, lah. Okay, the larger the decay constant, the greater the rate of decay. Ah, uh, that means, as I said, some decay very fast. Yeah, some material, some material decay very fast. Ah, uh, that means it has very great rate of decay. Uh, very great the rate of decay. So the one decay very fast. The one decay very fast had a very large half life, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay. Has a very large half life. Eh, no, has a very large, uh, large, 
decay constant. Uh, if large decay constant means decay very fast. Yeah, decay very fast. Like what I say here, like like example I show here. Ah, uh, example I show here. Uh, decay very fast. The one decay very fast, like this one. Ah, uh, this one decay very fast. You see, very fast decay. Ah, uh, this one is very. Uh, okay, let me uh, let me wait wait. Let me show you. Ah, uh. okay, hold on a second. Okay, now look at this. Um. This uh, decay, decay, decay constant. As I said, the larger the decay constant, the greater the rate of decay. It's like this. Uh, provided the same sample, let's say we have the same sample, let's say we have uh, 10, 100 uh, unstable nuclide. Okay, let's make this constant. Let's make this con constant. So, the greater the, uh, if the material has a very high lambda, if the material has very high decay constant, it, it, this means that it has very high rate of decay. It decay very fast. Ah, uh, if let's say the material has very small wavelength, uh, small lambda. It's not. This is not wavelength. Uh. this is not wavelength. This is decay constant. If this material has a very small decay constant, then the rate of decay is very small. Ah, uh, understand? Ah, uh, so let's let us look at this. Uh, maybe let let us look at this example. Now, ah, uh, this one you see. I play this. Uh, let, let, let's show uh, this one. Okay. Uh, let me show you. Yeah. Uh, let me show you uh, this one. Okay. This is very fast decay. You see, very fast decay. Oh, very fast decay. Again, huh? Wow, very fast decay. See, very fast the blue appear. The red gone. You see, very fast the red gone and the blue appear. Ah, uh, this one means, this one means it has very high lambda it has very high lambda okay very high lambda decay uh, or i can say um, yeah it decay uh, the high lambda that means which is uh, this is this what formula again uh, this is um, uh, sorry yeah let me let me rub, rub this off uh, this negative dn over dt over n isn't it ah uh, so uh this is very high lambda that means very high rate of decay uh, decay very fast uh, this one is decay very fast you see uh, high wavelength uh, high high no high wave high decay constant and the rate of decay very fast let me show you again wow decay very fast because for this type of material the lambda is very big so it has very high rate of decay uh, very high rate of decay, you see? Very high decay. Spontaneous and random process, you see? Uh, very high rate of decay. Uh, let me look, let me show you again. Very high rate of decay. Very fast, yeah? Very fast, the red gone and the blue appear. Okay, this, uh, mean if lambda is big, means uh, the rate of decay is very fast. So, decay very fast. But what about uh, this one? Yeah, what about this one? Uh, let me show you. So what about if I put a long half life? Uh, let me show you. Uh, this one takes a long time for the red to disappear to blue appears. You see, take a very long time, take a longer time. The graph is very uh, less steep. You see that? Uh, you see, take a long time compared to the just now that one. Very fast decay. You see, very fast decay. And uh, this one takes a very long time to decay uh, takes a very long time to decay so uh, for this one take a long time to decay decay very slow uh, that means th this one has this one has a very uh, what do you say um, this one has very small with uh, small uh, decay constant uh, small decay constant the rate of decay very slow okay De the decay very slow ah uh, understand uh, so that's it for uh, this this one. Okay, just want to quit first, and um, yeah. Okay, now let us look at this one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so the the decay constant is all depend on material. Some material uh, decay very fast. The unstable nucleus very fast disappear. So uh, so uh, yeah. What I can say is um, the higher the the higher the lambda, yeah, the bigger the lambda, the, the decay constant for the material, the rate of decay is faster, yeah, decay very fast. 
but if you have a very uh, small lambda uh, small lambda that means uh, it decay very decay very slow uh, it decay very slow that means uh, if they have um, if you have a small small lambda the rate of decay very small okay so uh, and then one more thing is the unit uh, i want i just want you to pay the attention to the unit again um i just want to wrap this off first okay so um this one uh, as you must look at here all this must in si unit uh. remember all this must be i uh, must use si unit so uh, the rate of decay here is a uh, unit is per second okay because it's a uh, decay per second the lambda also unit in per second ah and then n has no unit and n has no unit so remember they must use si unit yeah you must change all to per second uh, this one activity also activity is the same as rate of decay uh, also per second uh, this one lambda also per second so make sure all you must change to si unit only okay and uh, next we will move on uh, okay that's about it for this video okay see you in the next one